In this video, we're going to visit Hive's resource management feature. And with this feature, you can better manage people and resources all in one platform, getting real time information of your resource utilization in one single available resource pool. With the resourcing dashboard, users of your workspace will be able to see their personalized schedule and managers can also use this dashboard to assign resources and see any resources that they have booked or may want to book. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up and gain access to our app. So let's click on apps on the left hand navigation and you'll see resourcing here in the tile. Now you can click open from here or pin it to your left hand bar. So I'm going to pin it and um, so I can access it quickly. And here it is. And then I'm just going to click open and you'll see that the resourcing dashboard contains individuals in your teams and also some of their bookings. Now let's walk across this dashboard and look at each of the individual items. So with filters, you can select the projects you want to see, the roles, the teams, the users, and any labels that you may have within your projects. And this allows you to slice and group individual users or project analysis throughout your workspace. So I'm going to leave this right now with all projects, all teams, all users, etc. And if I carry on along to the right hand side here, you'll see that I can change the types of time I want to see, be it a resource assignment, and you leave incomplete or complete actions. The today button will bring me back to today's date in the view should I wander through the, the time on the calendar. And also you can use the arrows to slide left and right. You can select from days, weeks and months, um, which can change the view of your cards. I'm going to leave this for days for now, but this allows you to change to a, a useful view. And then finally up here, up here is our settings. And this is where we can create placeholders. Now, placeholders are particularly useful for campaign planning. So when you know the role you need, but you potentially don't know the individual, you can assign an action to a placeholder, which means when that project is ready to be staffed, you can very quickly switch over the placeholder to the individual or a team member that you want to assign the work to. Okay. Now, there's two ways resource assignments will appear in Hive Resourcing. Firstly, is what we call the resource assignment. And that is where, let's look for David here, I will click and drag on his entry. And then I will pick the project that I want to resource him to. And I will say how many hours a day. So let's just keep it with eight for now. That is the default, but you can adjust this in your settings. And I'll quickly confirm and create. And as you can see, that will book David eight hours a day to the creative review project. Now, the second way that uh, a resource assignment will appear in Hive is with a oh, with an action card. So let me open this action card here and you can see, importantly, we have the time estimate down in the apps board. Now, it's absolutely crucial that each action card or task has a time estimate for it to appear in resourcing if you're resourcing to the task level. So to make sure that that's absolutely clear, you must have the time estimate in your action cards to drive it this way. So I'm going to close this down again. And what you'll see under D is that there's a number of action cards which have started to accumulate up to show the um, required capacity and work effort for those days. Now, when we look at the top of each of the users, you'll see certain numbers. And these are the total hours that that person has been booked for that day. You can change it to percents if you'd like to in a future view. And we can see here that D is trying to take some annual leave on the Friday, which is over indexed for this day. So we need to review this child project allocation before we approve that annual leave. You can adjust bookings by dragging and dropping. So if we wanted to move this, this campaign here by day, then you can see it's very easy to do. And by right clicking, you can also split a resource request into separate days, should you need to readjust them and move them around as well. So let's put that one back there. Okay, so let's go down and look at D's resourcing. And we can see here, we have two requests for the social campaign tracker, which is over indexing on this week. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this one back by a week. 
obviously having a conversation with the project owner, but what I want to make sure is that I can balance off this campaign project search too with the work that's been requested with other campaigns. And here you see the resourcing is down to acceptable levels. Now to recap, we need to ensure that every action card or task has a time estimate should you wish that action card to appear in Hive. You can also open the action card directly from Hive Resourcing. By dragging and dropping across the user, you can add a resource assignment to a project, or you can block that individual for annual leave. And in our settings, we can create placeholders, we can assign project or um, user tags, and we can assign colleagues to teams should we wish to. And that, those are additional ways that we can categorize resources on our projects. And that is how we use Hive Resourcing.